Hello everyone, and yes, I am back from vacation, so we are going to get caught up on all the updates I missed, which haven't really been too crazy, but we are going to catch up on them, and the first thing we are going to catch up on is the update that I missed on the 6th, which was a special competition for Iberian horses. And obviously, as you can see, I'm not on one of my... Iberian horses. I'm actually on Zenyatta, who is my Irish cob, who I take around to buy new horses, because before we can even do this race, I am buying a new horse. So, let's go ahead and get started. Alright, you guys. So, we are here at the manor because the Horses of Jorvik is back again, and this means horse discounts. So, I am finally finally getting this lovely lady because she's now only 715 star coins which is very fair i've been wanting this horse forever but since the idea of horse discounts has come to light i've been kind of waiting on a lot of horses uh to go for this this is one of them this is the smoky black andalusian so we are going to go ahead and buy her. I already have a name picked out and everything for her. So, let's see. Do I want to change the main? So you know what? I actually like this one for now for her. Or wait, hang on. Let's make sure that I'm all on board with this. Mm. You know what? I actually like this main for her. So we're going to go with that. Personalize and buy. So she is going to be an adult. She's going to be a mare. I already have a name picked out for her. Desert Flower. I think it's very fitting. So there she is. Let's go ahead and bring her home. Yes, I do. So I was also thinking about getting a Paso Fino, but obviously with the idea of Shires coming out soon, and obviously I have more horses to train. I haven't really had a lot of time to train horses this vacation, so I kind of decided to just wait on getting another Paso Fino for now, and just get the last Andalusian I need to complete my Andalusian collection. So let's go ahead and send her to my stable. And I'm gonna go tack her up and we're gonna do this race. All right, you guys, here she is and she is stunning. I officially own all the Andalusians now and it's so nice to have a complete set. And I love her face marking. Always thought it was Sue and one of the more super cool markings on the Andalusians. So now I officially have her. So we're going to go ahead and do this race. By the way, this glitch is very annoying. That just pops up random stuff. Yeah, it, it's so annoying. Hopefully this is fixed by the time that I'm actually fully back filming videos. Let's hope so. Alright, you guys. So here is the new Iberian Horses race. Which is working equitation. By the way, I love the way that they uh, improved the wood sounds. Very nice. Too wide of a turn there. Alright, so there is Horses of Jorvik working equitation. 
Um, that's probably the best one I've done so far, to be honest with you. So, that's cool. Alright, you guys. So, the next part of this update, we're going to talk about horse rotations. This has been long overdue, but we finally have horse rotations set in place. As you can see, Fort Pinta, the original, like, new horse sales ring is pretty empty. Um, the Connemar was moved back to Rick's. Brooks Grange, the Clydesdale was moved back to Dundle, the Fjord was moved to Valedale, the Limpid's Honor was moved to New Hillcrest, the Lusitana was moved to Paddock Island, the Yorvik Worm Lead has moved to Crescent Moon Village, the North Swedish Horse has also moved to Dundle. So there is tons of extra room for new additions to arrive at Fort Pinta now, and I will show you guys. These are the current choices, which I think are excellent choices. You have the Chestnut uh, Icelandic, uh, the Black Arabian, the, da the Rose Dapple Gray Pasofino, the gorgeous uh, Dapple Gray Percheron, the Gotland Pony, I believe that's the Mealy Bay one, yes. Uh, the Palomino American Quarter Horse, and of course the gorgeous uh, Chestnut Paint Horse. So yeah, these are great choices, and I'm definitely finally happy to see there are more updated horses in Board Penta, and definitely excited for those Shires. I am very much waiting on those. Alright you guys, that is pretty much it for this update video. Obviously it's a, not a true update video, it's a weeks after. But I wanted to make sure I got this video out to you guys, because I know you guys also like to see when I buy horses. So I had to make sure that this video got out to you all. And this is probably on the Fort Pinta Beach Party update, which by the way, the new Fort Penta improvements are absolutely stunning. Look at the beach. You can actually run with your horses in the water. You can go in the water by yourself without having been sent home. All just great things. And how awesome is that sound? So cool. I love the realistic sounds of hooves on wood. Very nice touch. So as always, you guys, remember to keep positive, happy trails, everyone. I will see you in the next video. Bye!